The difference between save and save as. So when you have a file and you want to save it, there is a save command here. So on the quick access bar at the top, we have this save command. And uh, so that, that is easy to get to. But what I want you to know is the first time that you save some uh, file, if you click the save command, whether it's through the quick access bar or whether it's through file save, it forces you into the save as command. And what that means is that the save as command, a dialog box is going to show up. And that dialog box, you're going to see that it's the save as dialog box. And once you get that save as dialog box, you navigate for you to your M drive where you're going to save your file. And then if it needs to go in a folder, of course, you double click the folder in order to put the folder up in the path bar. And once you have the folder that you want it to be saved in up in the path bar, then you have correctly set your path. So if you don't see it up here in the path bar, the folder that is necessary, it's, you're not ready. After you have the path set, you come down and you click on your file name and you type a relevant file name and then you're going to click the save button. Okay, so that save as dialog box, it shows up the first time that you save or save as. You set the path, you set the file name, you click save. Now you work on your essay for 20 minutes and now it's time to save it again. Uh, do you use the save command or do you use the save as command? If you use the save command, it's going to ask no questions. It will automatically save the file back to the path that you initially set using the file name that you set. For beginners, often we use the save as box because when you're learning, often you don't get it into the right place. And when that dialog box shows up, you can check your path. You can check your file name because lots of times beginners forget to put one. And then you can click save. And if it wasn't right in our class, this gives you the opportunity to change it. And don't worry about where the wrong one is. We, we want to just get you in the right pattern. Okay, you will get a message this time. And it will say something like, do you want to replace this file? And beginners say, oh, I don't want to replace my original file. But the truth is that 95% of the time in, in this class in the beginning, Yes, we want to replace the longer, more correct, updated version of the file over the older, shorter file. So make sure that you say yes. Okay, so the difference is that save gives you a dialog box only the first time because it forces you into the save as command. And save as is going to give you the dialog box every time. Now, one other thing that you should know that you do with the Save As dialog box is if you have a file that you've made and you called it Kelsey's because you're applying for a job to Kelsey's and now you want you open it up and you're going to edit it because you're applying for a job at Montana's and in the end you want to have a record of both files, you know, with the date that you applied and who you sent it to. You want to end up with two files. If you use Save As, you can now change the name. If you called it Kelsey's the first time, you can open it up and not have to retype the whole thing. Do a Save As, change the name to Montana's. Then you can make all your changes and save it again. And now you will end up with two files. And lastly, with Save As, you can also uh, use it to save the same file in two places just by changing the path. So that is what the difference between the save dial, save command and the save as command.